Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 Heartland Big Country 3895 FK. This is a front kitchen, full time rated fifth wheel. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside of the RV, then we're going to come to the outside, show you all around, and then we'll close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Big Country 3895FK. We're going to start up here in the kitchen area and then kind of work our way around. So right here on the side of the wall when you go up into the RV, this is going to be your brain box. So this basically is the control center, command center. So you have your awning, generator, start, stop. If you wanted to do a generator in one, this one doesn't have one, but uh, lighting controls, slide controls, monitor panel controls, uh, auto level, fan controls, but quite a few things all done right here. And you have a couple light switches as well. Going on up into the kitchen here. This one was ordered with the standard 18 cubic foot gas and electric nor cold refrigerator. Really nice RV refrigerator if you like the gas electric style. This is the largest one you can get in an RV currently. They have an option for a residential version if you'd rather do a residential. It's just a hair bigger than this, uh, but it only works on electricity and requires an inverter to use battery power basically when you're traveling down the road. So a little bit different choice on those features. Moving on up, you do have some drawer and cabinet space there, along with another nice big window. A little bit of overhead cabinet space as well over there. The big windshield overlooking the front of the RV, so you can just kind of look right out over the campground area. Has a pull down blind for blocking that stuff out, and it connects with magnetic connectors down below. A lot of counter space up here that you can obviously see. Electric outlet on both sides of the sink and also USB charger ports over there as well. Quite a bit of cabinet space down below along with three more drawers there. The sink has the high rise uh, faucet sprayer on it. And then you do have a 60, uh, probably about a 70, 30 sink as well with the nice matching covers. Over on this side, you do have a slide out. And basically you have the nicer, larger Furion oven, which does have a light along with the uh, digital uh, timer and stuff built in. And it's got the three burner gas stove top. Also have the convection microwave built in there as well with a little bit of storage up above that. Convection microwave is really nice. Again, everybody has a microwave in an RV, but this is nice because you can actually electronically cook. So if you are at a campground and you have electricity, you can bake inside of there and not have to waste your propane. Up above the stove area right here is also a very large turbo exhaust fan. These things move a ton of air. So if you are in here cooking, you obviously have your window back in behind there but you also have that turbo exhaust fan there to help pull all that excess moisture from cooking and smoke and stuff straight out the roof. Now another nice feature that I really like in the RV is the fact that it has a whisper quiet air conditioning system. You can kind of see the dull duct work kind of thing here but you don't see the big square in the center of the RV anywhere. So this is much quieter when you're trying to sit in here and have a conversation or watch TV or whatever at nighttime, just trying to sleep in general. Um, so you don't have as loud of a roar above your head when you're in the RV. There's a small eating area over here for two. Again, this is more of a couple's coach. It's not really meant for the family kind of thing. Uh, so you do have kind of a little eating area here, or you can even use this as a small office area. There's a couple electric outlets and stuff here, some storage and stuff as well. 
Um, but you know, kind of a little multi-purpose area here. I mean, me personally, when I go home and eat most of the time, I very rarely eat at a dining table. You know, I'm usually flopping down in front of the TV, eating dinner, and then hitting the bed. But you know, so it's kind of nice, you know, set up here, multi-seating area for all of that downstairs if you want to. Over here on the side is the control for that turbo exhaust fan and also one of your thermostats there for the air conditioning system. Going on down into the living room area here, you have two opposing sofas, one in each slide out, and both of those sofas will actually flip out their trifold sofas. So they'll flip out and make into beds. So you can sleep for guests in this area if you need to. Um, I know a lot of you are getting these things and headed down south of Florida to get out of the cold and stuff like that and don't really want people hanging out with you sometimes. Uh, but you can take people with you if you want, uh, if you need to. Uh, electric fireplace, it has the 40 inch Furion electric fireplace below the TV there. We're not plugged into electric, so I can't turn that on for you at the moment, but it is again an electric space heater basically. They're cool to have, uh, just kind of knocks the chill off in an RV again without wasting propane. A big ultra high definition 4K flat screen TV there. And just below that is the Jensen stereo system, which you do have a couple indoor speakers and also a couple outdoor speakers. A good amount of overhead cabinet storage in that slide out over there as well. And these windows down here also have the pull down roller shades on them. Now, directly across from your TV is the Thomas Paine theater seat. The theater seat does have LED light strips built into the bottom. It also has heat and massage in it as well. So nice upgraded theater seat there. So you could sit six people in here pretty comfortably. Um, you know, you never know, you might have an occasional guest over, but you know, you've got plenty of seating space. Now, this furniture is also completely freestanding. So for you full timers that don't want, you know, three seats here in your living room, you could take one of these out and put you another computer desk or a you know, small table or something there if you want to. Up above that TV, you do have some more storage as well. And then obviously you got your ceiling fan up there. Going on back to the back section here, you got a little hallway area, nice big window. We'll pop up some pictures here so this is a little bit easier to see. But you do have an okay sized bathroom here. Um, there's a little light down there, a little night light down there. But uh, porcelain foot, uh, foot flush toilet. It has a sliding pocket door, so you don't have to worry about swinging the door one way or another, depending on which direction you're coming from. You have a one-piece molded fiberglass shower there with the sliding glass enclosure. And it does have a little bit fancier head for it, but not much there really when it comes to shower heads. A um, little skylight up above, also a little window in there just to let in some more natural light. Fan up top air conditioning and heat both in the bathroom. Kind of panning down the other side here, you do have your wood medicine cabinet. You have a really nice heavy duty sink in here as well too. So a nice solid, solid sink. It's not a cheap plastic sink like a lot of brands do. And some more storage below the sink area there. Now going on back into the bedroom area here, got a nice huge window overlooking the back section of the RV um, that's really great some people love the you know, rear living room style and stuff like that but uh, this is pretty cool so if you do go to some place and you got a you know lake view you're backed up to or ocean view or something it's kind of cool to you know wake up in the morning and be able to look right out at the ocean or lake back behind you the Dyson vacuum back there as well a good amount of overhead cabinets above your bed area also. 
Those windows all open. Every window in the bedroom back here does open. You have USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. There's even an electric outlet down there beside the uh, Dyson back as well. This bed does raise up too, so you just uh, lift up on it. It's got a little gas strut system on there to hold it up. Now over here you do have a good sized closet. Now this is where you would do a washer dryer if you wanted to put a washer dryer in this RV. Um, so that is available if you wanted. It is pre-set up for that. Spinning around over here to this side, you have a flat screen TV up top there. So you got uh, something to watch when you're in here laying down. And then you have a ton of cabinet space as far as uh, some hanging closet space and drawer space. Really, really nice setup back here. And the bedroom also is all uh, vinyl linoleum floor. So there's no carpet back here to really worry a whole lot about. But overall, a really nice RV here. Again, this unit is full-time rated. Um, that means a lot to some of you guys that are actually gonna you know, really truly hit the road and travel with these things. Um, some of these RV manufacturers are what they call extended stay. And if they find out you live in them, then they will and can void your warranty legally if they want to. So, you know, to be a full-time rated RV warranty wise is a huge thing in this business. All right, guys, we're going to head to the outside. And then we're going to come back inside and close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Big Country 3895 FK fifth wheel here. We're going to start here in the front section, work our way around. As you can obviously see here, we are looking at the front cap section here. It has a nice big windshield in the front that you've seen when we were inside. So when you're in there cooking, you can look out right over the front of the RV. You'll also notice a little sticker here that talks about their tight turn technology. Basically what they did is they cut the frame section to allow for better turning radius on short bed trucks. So that is a nice feature to have if you have a short bed truck. If you have a long bed truck, it don't really mean a whole lot to you, but definitely a nice feature for the guy with a short bed. And up front, you have a standard hitch pin box. You can opt in for a more ride box when ordering or aftermarket, you could do a trail air or some other version of a hitch pin box if you wanted to. But it comes standard just with a straight box, option in what you want. Down below, there's a large storage compartment right there and there's room for a couple batteries in there. Also, your hydraulic selector valves for your slide outs are in there to turn them on and off individually if you needed to shut one off for some reason. You have a security light here on the front corner, couple outdoor speakers on that slide out right there. In the first storage door there is a single propane tank on this side, and then you'll see the other one when we get around to the other side. You also have a large storage compartment area right here pass through storage the unit has a drop z frame there's electric outlet in there along with a tv hookup in there as well and you'll notice it's nicely finished off to the left of that baggage door is a electric outlet right there so you could plug something in out here as well you have the nicer more ride step so that comes down touches the ground Holds up to 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step only holds about 300 pounds. So you do have a better weight rating on this style step, and it doesn't shake the coach as bad. You'll also see on the entry door there that they talk about their little sticker with the three-year limited structural warranty. So basically like the frame, the body, things like that have a three-year limited structural warranty, where a few brands on the market still only have a one-year warranty on those items. So that's a nice feature to have. You'll also see the other sticker there that pops up. It is warranty for full-time rated use. A lot of RVs, if the manufacturer finds out you're living in it year round, will actually void out your warranty if they want to. So this is kind of nice. The unit is warrantied for full-time living. Get the large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the door. And you'll also see your model number there as well, along with the little sticker that talks about it being constructed in America. And the most important sticker there is the Asdale sticker, just kind of telling you this unit, fiberglass sidewalls, 
was built with Asdale instead of wood Lou on board. That's a huge improvement to the construction of RVs, so it's a lot less likely to delaminate over time from water leakage and stuff like that. So definitely love that new improvement on the RV construction side. The unit is aluminum framed fiberglass sidewalls, as you can obviously see. And you have a power awning up top here with the LED light strip built in. Tiltable and adjustable for water runoff. And also there was a uh, light above the entry door there, a little porch light as well. On the exterior side wall, you also have frameless windows. They don't do those on the sides of the slide in part because they're a little worried about obviously if this slide gets out of whack it could break them but it is on the outer exterior portion of the rv you do have the frameless looking windows that is really just a cosmetic look it doesn't do a whole lot for the actual rv but it does look cooler than the framed windows coming on around to the rear of the coach you have a ladder back here comes down nice and low so it's easy to climb onto and get your trek up onto the top of the roof. Nice feature to have so you can get up there and do your maintenance and stuff without having to break out the ladder. Especially if you're a full timer and you're traveling around, it's nice to have one built in versus having to again take one with you. Up top there it is pre-wired in the center for a observation camera or backup camera. Would definitely recommend the Furion observation camera. Very nice feature to have, allows you to see behind you when you're driving down the road. LED running lights and tail lights. A nice feature to the big country here, you'll also see the little white in the center of the down, uh, the lights back here, the tail lights, because it has backup lights. A lot of these big monster RVs do not have backup lights, which I think is completely stupid by these manufacturers, but a lot of them don't. It might save them a dollar. Um, so nice thing to have and be able to see behind you when you're trying to back up at nighttime. On this side of the RV, you're going to have the baggage door there. So it goes right underneath the bed for a little bit of extra storage. Those baggage doors, by the way, when they flip up like that are held up by a magnetic holder. And I also forgot to mention on the back, there is a two inch hitch receiver on the back that is really meant for like a luggage rack or a bike rack. It is not for like towing a boat or something behind it. You have your gas electric water heater right here. You're gonna also see on the right side, just below that is the powered power cord reel feature. So you push a button to roll that back up. You just grab a hold of it and pull out on it to pull it out. So nice feature just to roll up and store your power cord right in the side of the RV. Uh, down below, you're going to see pop up here the um, little dump area, but you also look back in there and see the spare tire underneath, which is on a nice heavy-duty rack there. And then in the little storage door there is a couple of your dump handles as well. On the axle suspension here, it has the upgraded Moride CRE 3000 suspension, which has the greasable Zerk bolts, but also has a little rubber shock suspension in it to help absorb that road shock as it bounces up and down the road. They are currently using the Westlake tires, which are pretty common for a RV, uh, that brand of tire. Now, one of the things that is a little bit nicer is they are using G-rated tires, where a lot of brands in this size range are using an F-range tire. So the tire is a little bit heavier duty than some other brands on the market. Down below, just behind the drop Z frame there, you can also see one of your dump sections right there, along with the freshwater tank drain underneath of there. And then just back to the right of that jack is your low point hot and cold water drains as well. Now this unit was ordered with the standard 18 cubic foot gas and electric nor cold refrigerator. Some people really love the gas electric over the residential, more for boondocking and things like that. And when they do that gas electric version, you'll see that big black plate above those two storage doors. That is for maintenance and venting there where a residential version will not have that there. And directly up above, you can see along that roof line up there, there's another black 
uh, lid up there and that is also again for that refrigerator that's where a lot of that heat it creates vents out the top so those two pieces would not normally be there if you got the residential feature instead of the gas electric so that will look a little different depending on that refrigerator now in this big storage compartment area here we'll open up this door there is your docking station on this side so here in the docking station, you're gonna have water filtration system filtering the whole RV. Outside utility shower here, cable and electric, or cable and the satellite hookups up here. You're gonna also have a light out here for nighttime use. You got an electric outlet here, another inlet here. Your water inlets are all right here and your bypass along with your black tank flush and one of your gray handles. The hose and cable inlets and stuff, basically all they do is you just feed them right up through here and then you can close this off. And also over here is some instructions to kind of teach you what those items are all for. So if you are one of the new customers into the RV market, that will definitely help kind of explain things for you. And again, you have the slam lock baggage doors. Over on this next door is the other propane tank, which does have the large, uh, larger regulator on it, which is the dual stage regulator to flip back and forth between bottles, auto changeover regulator. The other bottle has a small little red regulator, but that one does not obviously flip back and forth. The unit has the six-point automatic hydraulic leveling jack system on it. It's faster, stronger, and more reliable than the less expensive electric system. Both are nice, but the hydraulic is considered an upgrade in the RV industry over the electric. All right, guys, we are going to head back inside, close it all up, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we're now back up inside the RV here and we're going to close up the slides. So when we do close up the slides, we got to come back to the little brain box here. I've already gone to the kitchen slide and basically all you got to do, hit the button to bring the slide in. This is an electronic slide. It is the uh, end wall slide by Lippert or Schwintech. So basically you just push the button, bring it in. You can kind of see the little uh, gear tracks there on the side of the slide out. There's one up top and one down below. Slide out comes all the way in. And plenty of room to come right on up in here and do what you need to actually do in the RV. So if you're stopping at a Walmart or Kroger's or whatever grocery store you might be stopping at and you need to come in here and load it, before you hit the road again, you can come right on up into this section, get to your refrigerator and load the RV with what you need to in this area. Now, the downstairs area is gonna be a little bit different. Um, this has a uh, hydraulic on off switch outside that you can turn on and off individual rooms. Now in here on the actual brain box here, you have your kitchen slide and then it just says main slide, in or out. And this is hydraulic on the downstairs slides. So hydraulic fluid flows basically the path of least resistance. So the lighter rooms push in and out first. But if you don't want to move all the rooms in a kind of a sequence, you can just shut off rooms by turning them off outside and leave on the one you want to move. All right, so basically when you bring this in, all you got to do is hit your in button and the slides will start to move. Again, these kind of flow the path of least resistance. So like right now, they're all creeping a hair, but the back one moved a little bit more. You can see it in the distance back there. And then this one over here is also moving as well. Now you can see that back one back there going a lot further. The bed is also sliding in because there's two slides back there. And this one here is now coming in. And again, you can shut them on and off individually just by turning them off outside.
and now they're all in. So when this does close up, you can not get to the back bedroom without opening up this one slide here and then obviously the slide in the bedroom. Now you could kind of step back into that area if you wanted to, but you would have to bump out this room to get to the bathroom or if you need to get to the bedroom you would have to bump out this room that we're staring at here along with the bedroom closet slide out and again you can turn them on and off individually we're running them back out now just so you kind of get an idea what everything looks like on the way back out And again, you could stop wherever you need to. So, you know, I don't need to go all the way out just to kind of come back here and use the bathroom if I'm at a rest area. So I can come right on back here. You know, all my slides didn't go fully all the way out. Again, guys, really, really appreciate you taking a look at my videos. If you have any questions, please give Couches RV Nation a call. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country, guys. They will save you a ton of money on a new RV if you're interested. And be sure to keep an eye out for my new videos coming. Um, this is an early 2021 version. We will be getting in the mid-year model change version from what they're saying sometime toward the October, November time frame. Um, big Country's changing a little bit later than some of the other manufacturers have changed, but they will have some changes coming as well.